relationship and Brexit um, is, you know, unlike the United Kingdom since then, I've actually had more Polish people enter me. <laughs> and Irish. And Lithuanian. And Latvian. All the EU members. <coughs> Believe it or not, ladies and gents, I've been accused of having an open border. <laughs> and before you're worried about my safety, I'll let you know now, I always make sure to have a good withdrawal agreement. <laughs> because I'm not saying I've been promiscuous since I've been single, but I have fucked that many low-income workers that Jeremy Corbyn once wanted to put my twat into public ownership. <laughs> yeah. It's really got me thinking, you know, I've, that many men have sailed within me and sadly many have lost their lives. <laughs> that perhaps, now that Britain has left the EU, maybe my, you know, maybe I should, my vagina could be an independent state. You know, in out referendum, now stay with me. Does sound ridiculous, York, but look who's the President of the United States of America right now. And I think, you know, it'd be brilliant, you know, it'd be great to stay, because imagine this. Imagine at the G20, Boris Johnson on one side, Donald Trump on the other side, and my vagina in the middle. What's another bushy head twat between the pair of them? <laughs>